please stand for the presentation of our national callers presented by the White of the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. My name is Clara Tuska, and I'm your senior class vice president. Before I begin, it is my pleasure to welcome several distinguished guests in attendance today. I ask that the audience join me in welcoming our guests after all have been introduced. Seated on stage are Dr. Donna Hanlon, Superintendent of Wicomico County Public Schools, Mr. Gene Malone, Chairman of the Wicomico County Board of Education, Mr. Michael Murray, Vice Chairman. Wicomico County Board of Education, and Mrs. Christelle Savage, Principal. Also in attendance are Dr. Frederick Briggs, Chief Academic Officer, Ms. Kim Miles, Assistant Superintendent of Student and Family Services, Dr. Offer, Chief Finance and Operations Officer, Ms. Tanya Laird-Lewis, Member of the Wicomico County Ms. Ann Suthowski, Member of the Wicomico County Board of Education, Dr. Andrea Blake, Assistant Principal. Mr. Jason Capabianco, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Amy Rhodes, Assistant Principal. Mr. Brent Lewis, Dean of Students. And Ms. Sarah Harmon, Dean of Students. Please join me in a welcome. <laughs> Members of the Class of 2022, as our time at James and Bennett comes to an end, let's look back on our four years together. When we started high school in 2018, we had no idea that our sophomore year would be abruptly cut short. As we navigated our junior year, often described as the most challenging year of high school, online, we never lost hope that we would be back in the JMB building before we graduated. In senior year, we were given that opportunity. When we returned, 
we seniors were the only ones who had experienced a full, normal year of high school. We should all be so proud of ourselves, and it is a testament to the strength of our class that we were able to revive and pass on so many J traditions. All parts of our school, from academics to sports to arts, flourished this year, and the class of 2022 is to thank for that. From the boys' soccer team, who became state champs, to an incredible year of rock and roll revival, we fought hard to bring back and continue the spirit that makes JMB so special. I know the determination that we demonstrated this year will carry with us for the rest of our lives. As we reflect on our accomplishments today, let's not forget to acknowledge those who have supported us throughout the years. Teachers, coaches, mentors, friends, and family, thank you. Congratulations, class of 2022. We did it, let's anchor down. As our class song says, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 2022. Once again, class of 2022 and everyone here today, welcome to our commencement. Thank you. Hey, JMB, didn't see you there. The class of 2022 has been through thick and thin to reach this point. We are incredibly grateful to reach this significant milestone. The support of the people with us in our schooling process allowed us to get here. The class of 2022 would like to dedicate a few thanks to each of significant supporters. First off, we'd like to thank all the parents, uh, guardians, grandparents, and family members the, for the continual support that helped us reach this incredible milestone in our lives. We are truly grateful for all the love, support, motivation, and sacrifices you made for us to get here. We'd like to thank all the teachers, coaches, administrators, guidance counselors, and staff members who worked with us. The Bennett teachers and staff were always there to support us, offer advice, and share wisdom on how to carry ourselves into the future. Because of their support, we have become better people. The successes that we will achieve are shared with our teachers, and we are thankful for everything they have done. We would like to thank all the volunteers, community members, and supporters. All events and fundraisers, including this one, could not have been done without behind the scenes work of these people. Lastly, we'd like to thank all the friends we've made. These friends made everything at school fun and enjoyable. They filled us with laughter and kept us up as school years went by. For that, we are thankful for our friends. Thank you to everyone who made it out here today to watch us walk the stage. We are thankful you are here to show your support. Thank you to everyone that made this event possible and helped us celebrate this achievement. Let's go, Bennett.
afternoon. My name is Katie Mitchell, and I am your Class of 2022 Treasurer. It is my absolute pleasure and honor to introduce my fellow classmate and friend, Rosie Gao, to give the scholarly reflection. In her four years at Bennett, Rosie feels fortunate to have met amazing classmates and teachers who have shaped her into the person she is today. She is also delighted in being a part of a variety of JMB's wonderful activities, including Science Olympiad, the Memorial Garden Committee, Academic Team, and the Marching and Symphonic Band, in which she plays flute and marimba. Outside of school, Rosie has helped organize the Classics for a Cause fundraising concert, created and taught her own online introductory calculus class, volunteered at various summer programs for middle schoolers, and, and participated in medical research. Additionally, Rosie loves to read and play classical piano in her free time. In the fall, Rosie will attend Yale University and plans to continue to further her interest in STEM by majoring in molecular biophysics and biochemistry. Rosie aspires to pursue a career in medicine. Some may even call her the next Einstein as voted on by the class for superlatives. I am thrilled to welcome Rosie Gao to the podium to deliver the James M. Bennett Class of 2022 Scholarly Reflection. Imagine that you have six hours to build a bridge with no steel beams, no cranes, no wood, not even access to your favorite construction store lows. You're probably thinking, when would this happen in real life? Well, this was exactly the situation our own James and Bennett Science Olympiad team found themselves in at eight o'clock in the morning on March 19th, 2022. It was tournament day and due to sick team members, we had no bridge built beforehand to present, nor supplies to build a bridge. That is a miniature wooden bridge, but still. Suddenly, our marvelous team advisor pointed out the, Miss Eakin pointed out the window and exclaimed, but there's so many trees. Everyone looked at her in bewilderment, especially when she returned with an armful of branches. Nevertheless, all team members contributed their help, using scissors to scrape bark from the branches, joining trusses with only the half a stick of hot glue available, or even just providing words of encouragement. By two o'clock, a bridge was built and went on to miraculously hold 8,000 grams of sand and earn fourth place. I was incredibly proud of each and every one of our Science Olympiad members. However, I also found myself continuing to think about that day and I realized, as unique as our experience may have seemed, all people build bridges from scratch throughout our lives. Think about your first day of high school. It probably feels like an eternity ago now, but I'm sure some of you may remember your anxiety over new classes, new people, and new activities. Being the oldest child, I certainly remember not knowing what to expect. It was likely even more difficult for those of you who moved to Bennett partially throughout your high school careers. But guess what? You may have started from scratch the first time you entered the front doors of James and Bennett High School, but you didn't let fears or difficulties stop you. Instead, you built bridges. You worked hard through difficult classes, you formed lasting friendships, and you discovered novel passions. However, in the middle of our 10th grade year, Many of these bridges were put at risk or even crumbled by an event that is beyond doubt one to go down in the history books. On March 13, 2020, a two-week mandatory spring break was declared, eventually extending into one and a half years of virtual learning. As the whole world scrambled to build bridges to combat the COVID-19 pandemic, our Bennett community built bridges as well. I would like to give a huge shout out to our teachers who quickly created ways to continue to make learning fun, even if it meant using Zoom to hold Socratic seminars or using Flipgrid so we could pretend to be parts of the cell. Our student groups did an amazing job as well, coming up with ways to continue to get together. Mostly, I would like to congratulate my fellow classmates who persevered through a difficult time to continue to find ways to succeed. Like true clipper ships, we made our way through the storm. 
And today's graduation, who's excited? In our four years at Bennett, even if we each lack steel beams and cranes at times, every one of you has created and crossed a unique and spectacular bridge of your high school experience. You should all be so extremely proud of yourselves. And of course, it, it always takes a team to build a bridge. Thank you to all the parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, excited families, teachers, counselors, neighbors, friends, and everyone who has accompanied and inspired us each step along the way. Your dedication and support truly makes it possible for us to be here today and to be able to turn our tassels in a couple of moments. I am also beyond excited to hear about the amazing bridges that we Bennett grads are going to build in the future. Our psychology teacher told us that Jay Copeland once used to be a student in his class and performed in Rock and Roll Revival. He has built a bridge to achieving his musical dreams and reached the top seven of American Idol. In the wise words of my mom, if you can think it, you can make it. Everything is possible if you believe in yourself. If any dream seems too distant, have confidence that even if you have no wood, raw tree branches are enough to build a powerful bridge. Thank you and best of luck in your futures. Congratulations, class of 2022. One thousand three hundred sixty-six days ago, on September fourth, twenty eighteen, we first walked through the doors of JMB as oblivious freshmen. Next thing you know, we're all gathered on the day we could not wait for. This is the year we were all longing for, the year we had access to late arrival and early dismissal, the year we would be recognized on senior night, and the year we could create our final memories as high school students. Hello, everyone. My name is Nana Akuya Asewasu and I've been your class historian for the past four years. Every year of high school, we've all had at least one person tell us, oh, cherish these moments, it's gonna go by fast. But no one ever told us it would go on a Zoom. On March 13th, 2020, we received the news that school would be closed for two weeks due to the global pandemic that affected millions. What a coincidence it happened a week after spaghetti dinner. Thankfully, we got that money before school shut down. We were all excited until two weeks turned into a month and a month turned into a year and a half. Before we knew it, we were juniors going to class on a computer and every day was pajama day. And we even had rock and roll revival virtual, virtually. It's so hard to believe that we've only had one normal year of high school. Even though 2020 through 2021 was a rough patch for all of us, it taught us many valuable lessons. Change is inevitable, cherish the people around you, and when life hands you lemons, make apple juice, leaving people to wonder how you did it. As a class, we have so much to be proud of. We've carried out so much during our four years at Bennett. Baseball and boys soccer won state championships. There are 261 of us who will be attending either a two or four year institution. We've earned over $14 million in scholarship money and jointly volunteered 46,000 service hours. I want to say a special thank you to friends and family, the staff and coaches, for always believing and sticking beside us even when things got tough, because none of it would be possible without everyone here to support us today. We truly couldn't have done it without you. I can't believe this day is finally here. We would all talk about it, but never realize how fast it would approach. When we leave here, we'll be living our own lives and taking on greater responsibilities. If only it came without adulting and having to pay bills. Before I pass on the mic, I want to leave you guys with a few pieces of advice that I learned from our four years at Bennett. One, never fold under the pressure of society. Two, when faced with adversity, use it as an opportunity. Three, be sure to keep an open mind. Four, only be in competition with yourself. There's always room for improvement. And finally, number, number five, never let anyone dim your light. We have come too far to let all of this go to waste. Today, when we move our tassels from one side to the other, it will conclude our such hard-fought journey. Be good to others, and most importantly, be good to yourselves. Congratulations, class of 2022. And remember, you can never sink the ship. Thank you.
Good afternoon. My name is Hannah Kim, and I am the executive president of the Student Government Association. I was given the privilege of overseeing the SGA this year. As the position was passed down at the end of last year, I was not ready for the eventful year ahead of us. With restrictions at the beginning of the year, it was strenuous, but we worked hard and made sure all the events were excellent, phenomenal, all of the above, and some may even say the best. Before introducing our speaker this evening, I wanted to give a special thanks to all the teachers, staff, and parents for getting us here. We would have struggled without the love and support from those around us. I know we are all looking forward to our futures, but it's always good to look back and remember those moments in high school, to reminisce on our rebel rebellious yet responsible selves, and to remember these four years that we will never forget. Now, without further ado, it is my honor to introduce the Superintendent of Wicomico County Public Schools, Dr. Donna Hanlon, who, who will be speaking this afternoon. Also, please join me in congratulating Dr. Hanlon on her retirement. <laughs> Following Dr. Hanlon, Mrs. Christelle Savage, the principal of Jameson Benton High School, will provide the principal remarks. Our distinguished guests and members of the board, Jean Malone and Michael Murray, will be handing out diplomas. Thank you. Good afternoon. Board members, Mrs. Savage, staff, parents, family, friends, and graduates of James M. Bennett High School Class of 2022. Congratulations, soon to be graduates. Each of you is just moments away from a major milestone in your life, completing your high school career. On behalf of the Board of Education and everyone in Wicomico County Public Schools, let me say we are so incredibly proud of you. Life is full of milestones. Your first day of school, getting your driver's license, taking your first job, cashing your first paycheck, graduating from high school, falling in love, turning 21, moving into your own home. Milestones might include entering the military, graduating college, landing a dream job or a great promotion at work, getting married, having children, retiring. I will soon, as has been said, be celebrating my own milestone, my retirement. Over and over, I have been asked the same question that I imagine has been posed to each of you. What's next? In my case, I'm happy to share that I plan to spend time with family, children, and grandchildren. I hope to have the time and the good health to travel more with my husband, but I've also been tempted to respond, I'm gonna dance. In fact, just recently I was standing with colleagues in the back of the room at an event for first year teachers waiting for my turn to speak and this colleague next to me asked jokingly, are you going to dance? And I think I surprised him when I said, oh, I am most certainly going to dance, just not today. Well, I'm speaking figuratively about dancing, not literally. I was referring to what I plan to do upon retirement. Dancing comes to mind because of a graduation speech that I made as principal 20 years ago for the James M. Bennett High School class of 2002. At that time, Leanne Womack had recorded a very popular song, I Hope You Dance. It won Country Music Association awards for both single and song of the year, as well as a Grammy for the best country song. I think the words in this song hold true for anyone moving on to the next chapter in life whether that transition is to whatever comes after high school graduation or what awaits in retirement. While our graduating seniors may not be familiar with the song, I think that many in the audience today probably are. And I hope that the words that I share with you from I Hope You Dance will convey my wishes for you tonight, that you dance through life, whatever it brings. The thought of dancing feels daunting to many of us 
Just for a moment, picture yourself in one of those old movies where some sat and waited on the sidelines to be asked to dance, while others tried to work up the nerve to approach someone for a dance. Now understand, I fully recognize that this is not at all how it happens today. I just ask for you to humor me and use your imagination for a moment. I would imagine that those were awkward times. They both had the choice to take the risk to either sit out that song or to dance. And when they chose to dance, allowing the music to move them around the dance floor, they probably experienced a moment of pure joy and happiness, all because they took the chance. And that's what life is all about. As this song says, living might mean taking chances, but they're worth taking. In her song, I Hope You Dance, Leanne Womack sings, I hope you never lose your sense of wonder. You get your fill to eat, but always keep that hunger. May you never take one single breath for granted. God forbid love ever leave you empty handed. This song expresses what I wish for each of you as graduates of Wicomico County Public Schools, that you always have the curiosity of a small child that you're always hungry for what life has to offer and that you never take life for granted. She sings, I hope you still, still feel small when you stand beside the ocean. Have you ever sat on the beach and stared out at the waves and tried to imagine how far it is to the other side? Have you ever laid down in an open field at night and stared up the stars and thought about what a tiny place in this huge universe, you really are. You are just one tiny part of this world, but you still have a place. Feeling small when you stand beside the ocean is about understanding your place in the world. I think the older that you get, the better you appreciate that. What I experienced sitting on the beach and considering the vast horizon would likely be quite different than your experience. But I hope that as you move on through life, you always take time to sit and reflect upon your place in the world. Womack sings, I hope you never fear those mountains in the distance. We all have mountains to climb. Some mountains are larger than others. As seniors, as has been said, you have certainly had huge mountains to climb through your high school years. It was March of your sophomore year when our schools shut down and for some of you didn't open back up fully until this year. Remote and hybrid learning were not ideal, and many high school events were missed. And even this year, you've had to endure incredibly challenging times with the return to in-person learning in masks. But you had the courage to move forward to get to the other side. It took perseverance and diligence to climb those mountains, but to get the most from life that it has to offer, we must tackle those mountains head on. I believe that any mountains now that you may climb in the future will be easier to conquer because of the adversity that you have already faced with grace and confidence. She sings, whenever one door opens, I hope one more, excuse me, whenever one door closes, I hope one more opens. That's what life is all about doors opening and closing. Life's doors come in all shapes and sizes. Some are solid wood with not even a peephole. Others are French doors with transparent glass so that you can clearly see the other side. Some doors close easily and lock and you have no key to re-enter. With others, the latch has long since gone and it will remain closed no matter how hard you try to Excuse me, it will not remain closed no matter how hard you try to keep it closed. Some are not physical doors. They exist only in our minds. You are closing one door today. That may seem like a scary thing because you really aren't sure what's on the other side. Some of you are looking forward to closing and locking this door and might even be happy to throw away the key. No matter how you feel about this door that you are closing, one more opens and that they continue to open for you. You must be willing to let some doors close, whether it's through retirement, 
or graduation, knowing in your heart that others will open for you. Now, if you listen really carefully to the song, and perhaps some of you will, you can hear some subtle words in the background, including this. Time is a wheel in constant motion, always rolling us along. What does that mean, and why is it part of this song? Well, while you are busy taking risks and climbing mountains, and sitting beside the ocean and closing and opening doors and starting to dance, remember that time does not stop. Jim Croce was a popular musician from the 1970s who composed and recorded the number one song, Time in a Bottle. He wrote about storing time in a bottle to save for his family, his friends, his wishes, his dreams. But he also wrote about how that wasn't possible. Time can't be bottled up and saved. It must be experienced as it unfolds. Less than 12 months from the day he recorded that song, Jim Croce was killed in a plane crash. All of his time was gone. Time does not stop. If you choose to sit out that dance in hopes that another will come along, that chance may not come. So tonight, I'm simply, excuse me, this afternoon, I am simply suggesting to you that you heed Womack's advice that you give love and faith a fighting chance, that you will give the heavens more than a passing glance, and that when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, you will dance. Dance through the rest of your lives. Like that moment is all that matters. Dance and dare and dream. I know that's my plan. Again, on behalf of the Board of Education and everyone in Wicomico County Public Schools, we wish you the very best. Congratulations. Good afternoon, graduates, families, staff, and special guests. It is a great feeling to have this opportunity after a two-year hiatus to be together as one Clipper Nation for commencement here at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center. This afternoon, we are here to mark this momentous event in the lives of the class of 2022. Students and parents, I ask you to visualize that first day of pre-K or kindergarten. What I visualize are tiny versions of those of you who sit before us today heading to elementary school with a backpack as big as you. You have grown so much since then, but you still carry a backpack to and from school every day. We often think of a backpack as something that carries our schoolwork, our textbooks, and these days, a laptop. Now that you have turned in your last high school assignment, your last high school textbook, and returned those laptops, I ask you to consider what is left in your backpack. When I start to work with a new group of people, I like to do what I call the backpack activity. This activity requires members of the group to share what they bring in their backpack to the team. We all have items in our backpack that we take wherever we go. So again, I ask you what is in your backpack. I suspected that the class of 2022 had some amazing things in their backpacks, so I ask a few students, staff, and parents to give me a word that they believe described the class of 2022. Of those words, I would like to elaborate on what I believe are the top five items that you have in your backpack that will set you up for greatness. Each of those, these words represents what you carry in your backpack that you will take beyond high school and the reason that you will go on to do great things. The first item is resiliency. I had a student, a teacher, and a parent tell me that the class of 2022 was resilient. This key element to have in your back is you set out on the next chapter of your life. By sitting here this afternoon, you have already demonstrated resiliency with your ability to stay afloat in high school during a pandemic. This indicates that whatever challenges come your way, you will be able to persevere through them. 
The next characteristic of this class, an element in their is assiduousness. We can go ahead and add the word, the skill or the word smart to their backpack as a student gave me this word. Assiduous means to show great care and attention in what you do. You demonstrated this by planning a beautiful prom despite a pandemic limiting your fundraising opportunities. Not everyone has the skill to be assiduous in their planning and action. Having this skill set, these graduates will be set apart from those that they compete with for jobs and positions. The next element that can be found in their backpack is tenacity. You are tenacious in your efforts. The dictionary defines tenacious as being persistent and not easily pulled away. You demonstrated this when you continue to learn and move forward despite COVID. You have heard earlier that your class earned over 14 million in scholarships and tuition, and you collectively did more than 46,000 hours of service learning. Your tenacious, your tenacious will be what helps you stay the course and reach your dreams, and it will set you apart from others because you will be able to hold on to your dreams. The fourth element in your backpack is boldness. You have entered the halls of JMB with boldness and communicated your thoughts and ideas. You have demonstrated this through your state championships, rock and roll revival, math team, special or science Olympiad, as well as many other individual clubs, sports, and your classroom assignments. This element of boldness will help, you help these graduates to face unfamiliar situations that arise and it will help them to make change a reality. The fifth element or skill in your backpack is the ability to overcome. I see this word different than being resilient. Resilient is the ability to keep going when things are tough, but the ability to overcome means you will not only make it through, but you will do it in a way that makes you better than you were before. You are smarter, stronger, and ready for the next chapter because you have overcome many challenges. The ability to overcome will allow you to rise above those around you in times of struggle. I believe that if you take these five elements of resiliency, tenacity, assiduousness, boldness, and the ability to overcome and combine it with the knowledge you have gained from elementary through high school, there is no telling what you might accomplish. You have had a unique high school experience and as a result, you have become individually unique. You now have everything in your backpack to go beyond high school and positively impact the world. Remember that as you go forward to continue to add to your backpack, it is at this time that the class of 2022 would like to have a moment of silence in remembrance of a lost classmate, Riley Adam Langford. Please join me in a moment of silence. At this time, Mr. Lewis and Ms. Harmon will deliver flowers and an honorary diploma for Riley's family. Please know that Riley will always be a part of the Clipper Nation and a member of the James M. Bennett High School Class of 2022. Dr. Hanlon, in recognition of the records and achievement of the students of this class, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me as the principal of James M. Bennett High School, I certify that these students before us have met the graduation requirements established by the Maryland State Board of Education and the Wicomico County Public School System. 
Accordingly, it is my pleasure to recommend and present to you for the conferring of diplomas, the graduating class of 2022. Mrs. Savage, in recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me as superintendent of Wicomico County Public School System, it is my pleasure to certify and accept for the conferring of diplomas the graduates of James M. Bennett High School, class of 2022. Congratulations.
करते हैं
to the class of 2022. To the teachers, friends, family, and faculty members, thank you for being here today to celebrate this momentous occasion. The graduation of the class experienced and endured more than any of us could have imagined. For those who I have not had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Logan Beebe, and I have had the honor of representing the class of 2022 for these past four years. From clueless freshmen to sophomores, then hybrid juniors and now graduate seniors. We are not the same people we were when we walked into the school for the first time 1,366 days ago. Four years. How much have you changed in four years? I mean, we've changed physically, some of us growing almost a foot taller in school, while some of us, including myself, have not grown taller at all. Some of us may have cut, grown out, or dyed our hair, and maybe some of us barely resemble the photos of themselves from freshman year. These past four years, we have grown up together, watched each other transform, but these transformations were not just physical. Our class had to go through a lifestyle metamorphosis. The pandemic forced us into an uncomfortable state where we needed to make adjustments to everything about our lives. Our grand idea of what high school was supposed to be like was stripped from us and thrown away. Despite the various challenges and detours we came across on the journey, we found a way and we kept going. The changes we made to our schedule, perspectives, and to our very lives was nothing less than us evolving and adapting. Through the dark, suffocating chrysalis of the pandemic, your diploma is proof that you still emerged a butterfly. Life demanded change from you, and you delivered. We are about to embark on our next adventures, and that can be terrifying. But our time at James and Bennett has taught us that change is not something we need to fear. It has taught us that when things are broken down, we will rebuild. When the door slams in our face, we will go through a window. And when the world demands change and turns our lives upside down, we will be prepared thanks to the very lessons learned from these four years. JMB has shown us that our greatest possible strength is our very power to change. When we embrace it, that is what will shape us into the people we want to be. So yes, 
We're not the same people we were when we walked into the school for the first time 1,366 days ago. But this is not a farewell than you used to be. When we change, we aren't saying goodbye to the person we once were. Instead, we are taking everything we learned and gained from our experiences with us. It is our past here at JMB that will continue to propel us into the future. Everything we learned, we leave none of it behind. Embrace the changes you've gone through to get to this very moment, sitting here in your cap and gown. And let us look to the future and know whatever changes await us, we are ready. I ask the James and Bennett class of 2022 to please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my and to the James and Bennett High School class of 2022. 